Well, Duke University's School of Nursing is on the cutting edge of simulation and distance education. In this edition of What's Next, WNCN's Mike Gonzalez has an inside look at their simulation laboratories and shows us why nurses are so much more prepared. What's going on? It looks like you're having a little trouble breathing. It's hard for me to catch my breath. From mannequins with realistic movements to rolling robots carrying iPads with students watching on the other end. Hello. She's having trouble breathing. I just put oxygen on. Duke University's nursing school has gone completely high tech. When I went to nursing school, we trained uh, given an injection and an orange. It's hard for me to breathe. Duke's nursing school director, Margie Malloy, has been out in front of the simulation education revolution, but she's not afraid to get behind the scenes either. Congratulations, Victoria. This simulation lab on Duke's campus allows students real life experience before they hit the hospital. Because you're never really doing anything for the first time, you've always practiced on a patient or on a mannequin uh, like this. Students learn practical skills like how to birth babies. How is your tummy? Working with children, even how to properly listen to a heartbeat. Can you hear his heartbeat too? Yeah. That's pretty incredible. It so it's a very easy, yeah. About a year ago, nursing school professor Ryan Shaw took things a step further. He designed a system using segways carrying iPads to give distance education students a look inside the simulation lab. Oh, why don't we go ahead and have you heard that a nebulizer treatment? Using a laptop or tablet, students can log into the simulation lab, look around, even ask questions in real time. I even took the robot for a ride. And that was It's easy to drive and it has a very clear picture. It's a picture Margie Malloy says gives her students a much better education no matter where they are. In Durham, for what's next, I'm Mike Gonzalez, WNCN News. Wow, now that is fascinating. So far, about 50 students have utilized the distance education portion of the simulation education program. Professor Malloy expects it to grow much more over the next several years.